Use X-Tool Fire Safety Set on X-Tool P2. First, let's fit Sensor 1 on the laser module. Get those items ready. Sensor 1, 3M tape, cable clamps, and cable ties. Determine the position where the sensor can be stuck so that it does not interfere with the moving of the laser module. Fit two cable clamps on the connection cable. Use the tape to stick the sensor and the cable clamps to the laser module. Pay attention to the laser beam's outlet. Do not block it. Move the laser module forward and use cable ties in the position shown to arrange the connection cable along the drag chain. Tie the connection table to the drag chain with cable ties. Pay attention to the head of the cable ties. Ensure that they face the inner side of the drag chain so that they do not interfere with the moving of the drag chain. Click off the excess part of the cable ties. Move the laser module forward and backwards to the left and right. Ensure that it moves properly before you go to the next step. Use two more cable ties to arrange the connection cable along the drag chain on the right side. And then use the cable clamp to arrange it to the right side. Now, let's fade sensor 2. Get those items ready. Sensor 2 and cable clamps. Stick the sensor on the inner side of the lid. You are advised to stick them in the position shown. Use the tape to stick the sensors. Use the cable clamps to arrange the connection cables to the right side. Pay attention to the position under the hydrico row. Ensure that the laser module is not blocked. Then stick the sensor hub. Take the front part of the sensor hub down. Wind the connection cable around it and insert the connectors. and then put the front part back to the rear part. Then, let's connect the tube to the control box and the X-Tool P2. Get those items ready, control box and tube. Insert one end of the tube into the tube fitting of the control box and the other into the tube fitting of X-Tool P2. Connect the sensor hub to the control box. Connect the control box to a power supply. Connect the smart switch to a power supply and then connect X2P2 to Smart Switch by using the power cable. Done! Congrats! This is how our fire safety set looks when it's working.